Hi, welcome back to the Fit Refresh and another episode. Um, I am Sarah Martinez. I'm a health coach and weight loss specialist who helps my clients achieve their happy, healthy goals without using weird gimmicks or confusing information. Every week I cover a new topic. Tonight's topic is to carb or not to carb. Let's talk about carbs, guys. Let's go. guys make sure you subscribe to my channel of course like this video if it was helpful information it's helpful for me to know what you guys are enjoying um, and also feel free to ask questions I always check my comments and questions here on YouTube and uh, if they're down there I am going to just give you all the information I can uh, so to carb or not to carb tonight we're gonna talk about the pros and cons of carbohydrates what the heck a carbohydrate is anyway and I'm even gonna address some of your uh, low carb diets and kind of give some background information on that um, I want you to make be able to make good choices after this video so hopefully this inspires you to uh, think about the next carb that goes into your mouth so let's just go ahead and get started with what the heck are carbs anyway all right so carbohydrates they've been vilified all right they're not necessarily the villains of your diet however after tonight you're gonna to be able to at least dissect it a little bit so carbohydrates is one of the three essential uh, macronutrients needed for your body your body needs it it helps you sustain life it's good for brain function for kidney function your body needs carbohydrates so um, you can get your carbs in many different forms which we're gonna break that down a little bit for you as well today um, to be super scientific because you know sometimes I like to be a little scientific uh, carbohydrates are literally hydrogen oxygen and carbon it's a combination of all of those elements usually there's twice as many hydrogen as there are carbon and oxygen I don't know what kind of trivia question you're gonna be able to answer on that one but you're welcome when the time comes people are gonna think you're very smart so I want to start off with carbohydrate pros so tell me why I should love them carbohydrates are a great source of energy so your body craves them because it craves the actual you know sugar intake your body craves just because sugar is a super addictive substance but more than that your body loves to have juicy energy um, so it's gonna crave the items and the macronutrients that's gonna give it that push your body's gonna utilize carbs first as energy which is why when they enter your system they take priority so carbs are used by your body to fuel the brain kidneys heart functions muscles and your central nervous system so when your body breaks down carbohydrates what it does is it takes that energy that glucose and it puts it in the places it might need it first um, and those areas get a big bump brain boost huge so if you are trying to increase endurance if you are trying to um, you know if you're a runner and you're trying to prepare for a big run your body needs that boost of energy and carbohydrates are a great way to do that so when you use carbs the right way and you, if you function with them in the perfect order then carbs can be very beneficial and a necessity for your body so let's talk about the positivity behind carbs so carbs kind of break down into two different categories. One of them is your complex carb, which I want you to think of your complex carb as your ding, 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 ding. That's a great carb for your body. Um, the reason for that is complex carbs are uh, a little more dense in nutrients. So your body it takes a little longer to break them down. And in that slow digestion process, you are going to feel satiated for longer. So they're going to be carbs that are going to benefit you uh, in making sure that you feel fuller longer. So your complex Complex carbs when we talk about it we're talking more on the ideas of like fiber starches so I gave you a couple of examples here of some fiber type of food items so beans brown rice nuts oatmeal and then in a lot of your veggies like broccoli these types of vegetables these types of foods are going to give you that satiated feeling for longer periods of time and you're gonna get your full amount of nutrients which are really important uh, when you're getting your carbohydrate intake all right the other uh, things to kind of look at starches right so you got your sweet potato butternut squash apples especially with the skin still on the apple you're getting a lot of your starches in that 
Again, there's an element of sugar, right, in all of these items that your body breaks down. However, these are the ones that are going to make you feel satiated longer. They're gonna give you the boost that you need and the energy you need uh, without um, filling yourself with too many empty carbohydrates. So these are full. Think of your complex as full carbohydrates that your body does function well on. All right, so let's keep moving on here because I want to go right into the cons of carbs. So I think a lot of people already kind of know some of these items, uh, which is why we're like, <sighs> carbs. Everyone's like, just cut your carbs and you'll be okay, right? Carbohydrates, uh, when you overeat them, can cause weight gain. So here's why. If you're eating the wrong carbs, which we're going to talk about in a second, if you eat the wrong carbs, your body is, first of all, they're high in calories. Um, and then second of all, they're not satiating. So not only are they high in calories on the first helping, you want to eat more because you're not going to feel full for very long. So when you have certain items, sugars, candies, your body becomes addicted to it. It wants the rush. It's a lot of calories in one sitting. You're not satiated, so you want more. So there's a higher influx um, of carbohydrates coming into your system if you allow yourself to overeat them. Uh, I want to talk a little about insulin resistance. So here is kind of the onset of diabetes. Not everyone might have diabetes, but if you have a high carbohydrate intake diet, you're your body might still develop an insulin resistance. And when that happens, your body isn't processing that glucose breakdown properly, putting it into your cells and sending it off. What it does is that means that insulin isn't working properly. So your body never uses the energy and stores it and puts it out for energy. What it ends up doing is taking it, turning it into fat, and then putting that around your body and holding on to it. All right. So the more you increase your carbohydrate intake, sugar intake, uh, the more your body cannot break it down properly, which means you're going to create more fat and you're going to make it harder for your body to get your insulin back under control. For a lot of people, that means it leads to diabetes. For other people, there may not have diabetes, but you're going to gain weight and you're going to have a harder time uh, trying to lose it. Can you come back from diabetes? Yes, I've seen people do it. I've worked with clients that have done it. Um, you could have diabetes and then get your eating, get your insulin under control, carb diet down, um, and find yourself in a place where you could be controlling it on a lot, on a much easier level. Um, now, if you let it go too long, of course, those are other complications, but um, just know that you can make the adjustments and you can see this huge benefit for your body. Uh, the other thing that, of course, I put here too is that, you know, uh, sugar is very addictive. So once you have that rush, I want you to think of it almost like you kind of numb your taste buds and all it can taste is that super sweetness that you gave it from the sugar. So you want to find ways to minimize that sugar um, so that you're not craving it all the time, finding better ways to intake that sweetness rather than that ultra sweet taste. Unlike our good complex carbs, we're gonna talk about the simple sugars. Simple sugars are these sugars we were just talking about that are very high in calories, but also your body breaks them down very quickly so you don't stay satiated for very long. So we're talking about table sugar, dairy, honey, fruit juice, fructose, um, even fruit itself is not intensely satiating, though fruit is, is good for you, um, but you know, there's also like a good or batter, right? So good or batter, <laughs> the good or the bad. So, you know, of course, I'd rather you have a banana than a chocolate bar. However, um, both are gonna be broken down rather quickly by your body. So uh, one thing that's really important, I think people get confused about why is, you know, white rice compared to brown rice? Like what's the difference? Um, really any white rice or um, pastas that have been processed in that processing, they pretty much get rid of all the fiber and nutrients that that item had prior. That's why if you get something that's whole wheat, it's gonna be better for you than, than processing that wheat so much that it just strips it of all of its good stuff. So white rice, pastas that have been processed, all of these things are going to, again, be broken down rather quickly by your system, not very satiating, and you're getting no nutritional benefits from it. Uh, so, And then if you have it too much of it, you're doing all these other bad things for your system. So when you're talking about uh, the cons of carbs, these are the carbs you want to stay away from. These are the ones you want to minimize, the sugar, those honey, like, you know, if you're going to have something sweet, maybe stick to like a fruit, um, because at least fruit can get broken down and naturally in your system. Um, but again, when you're talking carbs, you want to go more for those complex carbs. Now I just want to kind of touch on some low carb diets that are out there. One big one that I get, I get asked about all the time is the keto diet. Here's the idea. 
your body is going to process and use carbs as energy first. So in the keto diet, they want you to cut your carbohydrate intake down so low that your body goes into ketosis. That means it's no longer accessing carbs as its main energy source and now wants to access fat and protein. In that process, what it means is that whatever you do, whatever activity you do, you're going to be burning fat primarily. For a lot of people, this is a very successful diet. Um, Usually what I've found is most people find it successful in little bouts, not necessarily as a lifestyle to sustain for the rest of their life. However, I do know some people that do sustain it for a lifetime who have said they have over years. Um, So it is possible, but... My recommendation is always about minimizing uh, carbohydrate intake, but not depriving yourself. So making sure that you're eating all your whole foods, getting your veggie intake, and not making carbs your main event of any dinner or meal. Um, The other one, Atkins, same idea as keto. It's just a little, Atkins doesn't focus as much on uh, organic or whole foods. Um, And then like those juicing diets and all of those that really cut back on carbs. Again, guys, none of these are necessarily bad and people have had success on all of these. But what would be nice is if you can create a lifestyle change that's going to incorporate low calorie diets, um, but still, still allows you to eat what you can and what you want. Uh, rather than uh, depriving yourself of things. Usually when you deprive, you come back, you actually have more than you ever had before, and you find yourself where you were at the very beginning. So always trying to make the best choice for long-term results. That's the key, long-term results. All right, guys, so what's the takeaway here? What's the takeaway? Listen, if you are going for weight loss, you are trying to lose fat, then a big culprit is insulin resistance. So your key, the thing that's gonna make it, uh, you know, make your weight loss process better as far as nutrition goes, is to minimize carbs. Does that mean cut it out completely? Absolutely not. So stay away from those simple sugars as much as possible. If you're gonna have a carb, have a complex carbohydrate, something that's gonna fill you up, full of nutrients, um, and they're still so good and tasty. So um, those complex carbs. So. Weight loss, minimizing your carbohydrate intake, but still enjoying it from time to time or small portions per meal. As far as your carbohydrates go, complex carbs is your moneymaker. Use it the right way, benefit your life, keep you satiated longer, and yeah, love those carbs, but love them the right way. I'll join you again next week. So excited to always be here with you guys weekly. Um, And uh, yeah, I'll see you on the flip side.